Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna go over a quick Redshift tip on texturing today. If we have this texture, this is a tile texture from one of our Redshift packs. Let's say that we're doing a PBR type texture and we have a diffuse and we're using the same uh, image but just kind of modified for our ambient occlusion, our roughness, maybe something like a normal map. And we wanna play around with the scale or the offset or rotation. So we play with the scale, for instance, and you can see that none of these other ones come across uh, just the first one, so we're gonna have to go into all these other ones and change the uh, scale to match it. And if we have a very busy uh, node tree, this can be a really big problem and it can take a lot of time. So what I like to do is use a constant node to link up all of these textures together and to control them with one slider. So if we drag a constant node, and this is under the math nodes, we're gonna use this for the scale, but we could also do rotation and offset. So under the basic tab under name, we can type in scale here. And we'll go back to our node and let's link this up to all of our textures under the general UV remap to the scale. So we'll drag and drop this uh, pick whip onto all of the scales and then we'll be able to control them all with this one node here. All right, so first things first, we have to go to that value and change it back to one since that's the default for the uh, this textures here. All right, so now we're back to one and we can go ahead and play with this value, say four, and we're gonna be able to change the scale of all of these at the same time. And if you click on these, the uh, scale section is now grayed out and locked because it's being controlled here. So just like that, we can have one uh, node controlling all of these different textures, and you can see how you can save a lot of time with that. All right, I'm gonna show you how to do the offset quick because we're gonna have to change one thing. So we'll go to the same spot under the general, but we'll uh, go to offset here. All right, so the one thing we're gonna have to change is instead of using a real value, we need an X and Y. And I think we can do that with vector. So if we go down to our data type vector, it's gonna give us X, Y, and Z. And what we can do is play around with the X and the Y to slide this offset here. So now you can see that we're offsetting that texture. You can do that in the X and the Y. And uh, like before, they're all hooked up to one node. And we can do another node and add the rotation if we want to. But basically, if you have a very busy node tree and a lot of textures, this is a fantastic way to save a lot of time. I hope you guys found that useful, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.